Welcome back to Digital Rap Scallions. This is your captain speaking, and I'm here with my first mate, T. Yo. We are going to see the apothecary, because we need to get a dispel potion for the caged beast. So let's go see what he has to say. Of course, he doesn't even notice me coming in, as always. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I have a question for you. Um, what do you know about earth elementals? See how Earth is consumed by the flames? Pretty amazing, innocent. I'm sure there's a lesson to be this old. I don't know what that might be. No, I must get back to my work. I forgot to ask him about that earlier, so I figured I'd do it now. Alright, so you are going to tell me about, let's see, spell potion. Spell potion? You do have a recipe for one. It takes rare ingredients. Are you re sure, you re sure you really need to make one? Okay. Beast. Um, no, you don't ask him about the beast. You tell me you tell him the beast. Okay, why aren't you I do have one, but it takes uh, rare ingredients to make. Are you sure you really need one? Yes. Um, beast in desert. Okay. Well, one of the options to ask him about is desert. Let's see if we can talk about desert. Uh, desert. Desert water source of components for our pills. Daily news, rumors. Teeth of dragon are very useful for our components. Well, let's give him the stuff we need for it anyway. You have no reason to give that, Terry, to that. Thing. Okay, you know what? We'll go find the fucking beast and then we'll see if that fixes the problem. Because this is returning. Alright. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Crafty Rock. Onwards and upwards, you can swords, my boy. Charge forth into the desert. Two. Three. Scorpion! Meh! You know what? Fuck the scorpion. You're just gonna die. I'ma kill you. Like I've always done, because you're a scorpion and you're easy to kill. Stabby stabby, die motherfucker. No, you're not allowed to block. Fuck that. I disagree with your plan entirely. No blocking. Haven't we covered this already? God damn it. Nah. nah. Nope. What if I set him up? What if there we go. Critical hit! Arm. Dead. You shoot it and explodes into 14 million pieces a la Fallout. I got a scorpion too! That I probably don't actually need. Alright, so let's go this way. And there's the sleeping griffin. Let's just go past the sleeping griffin like he's not even here. And we'll go down. This is task number 5. Fucking brigand, really? Alright. You know what? I'm tired of you interrupting my fucking quest, okay? I'm just trying to go off and do my thing, and you get in my fucking face. You have to fucking die. Die, you motherfucking horrible bitch. Now get out of my way. I have a random beast thing to save. Because that's what I do and stuff. I am kind of a hero, aren't I? Somewhere along the line here. Oh, how are you? I don't know. I, I think we can end up with this quest for hero thing. We're just doing quest for heroes now. There it is! The beast! Go see the beast! <laughs> the source isn't thrilled at getting close to the prospect of that cage. Oh, I probably said that wrong, but whatever. Alright, so. Cage is made of wrought iron. When the sun is on it, the uh, metal must be scorching. There's no sign of food or water in the cage, and the creature might have been in the cage for at least a couple of days. The beast does not respond. Well, let's give it some water. You should move closer to the front of the cage. I don't want to move closer to the front of the cage. I'm going to save my game. Alright, so we're going to call this save game, Jake. What's the worst? What could go wrong? We give him some water. And he looks at me with a very hungry expression. But I'm not going to give him anything else. He's wolfing that down pretty good for a snake. 
All right, so we know he's there, and the guy already explained the whole beast thing, so maybe now he'll sell us the fucking Dispel Potion. Which would be grand, because that would have saved us three and a half minutes of this episode. Okay, let's go off to the apothecary. Hello. Great. Tell about the beast. You give brief a description of the cage beast. That sounds interesting. It's probably a non a creature, not a not a natural creature. But around here, you could tell. You could try a dispel potion on it, though. Yeah, I asked you about that already. Dispel potion. I know of a one that victim drinks and the spell ends. It's a pity I do not have a potion made up. I can make some dispel potions for you. To make a dispel potion, I will need a griffin feather and ah, that may be a problem. I need the fruit of compassion. The potion to be effective is stranded. The enchanted victim's own hair must be dropped in at the last minute. However, this is up to you. You give him the fruit of compassion and the griffin feather. This will only take me a second. There, I do have for you what I would do for no other. This is the gift for all you have done for the city. I have made up three potions from what you gave me. You will need to add a freshly collected sample of the victim's hair before he drinks it. You get three potions. Now, excuse me, I need to really get back to my work. Really? Alright, you know what? See you later. How oh, are you leaving? Hey, Fine. Eric. Thank you, Mick Bastard. We're done here. You got the dispel potion. Let's hurry back. You got three dispel potions. For one fruit, too. That's impressive. Alright. Let's go this way. No. All the way back we go. Run, Saurus, run! Run for all you are worth. Past the griffin. Down the screen. No! Run! Run, you bastard! Run faster! The scorpion is after you! Alright, so... We are back in front of this dude. We are going to save our game again, just over the same damn thing. Minus the griffin. Right. So we see this dude here. We are going to give him some more water. And this time we're going to give him something to eat. And now that he's distracted with the... With the fruit, we're going to steal his hair. Yoink! You mix some hair from the spell potion and put it in there, from the beast and put it in the spell potion. I give you the dispel potion. He gra greedily laughs at the potion. <laughs> He's a person! I know not. I know not who you are or why you saved me, but if you are, you're a fool if you expect to be rewarded for it. I am El Skerva, an apprentice sorcerer. My former master, Adavis, transformed me into a mon into that monster and left me to die. He will be most displeased that I am still alive. Do not think he will be unaware of your interference. He will be watching you from now on. I will give you a war. I will... I will give you this warning. Do not go near Adivis unless you have some protection, spell of protection, or are very quick. If he manages to throw a spell at you, you will either be his willing servant, or else be transformed into a creature most resembling your soul. So in my case, like this holy Nova thing of awesomeness. Uh, there is a, some major ritual planned when the moon arises between the scorpion's claws and the dragon's teeth. If he succeeds, it would be best not to be in this land. I certainly will not be. Just remember, Adivis awaits you in Razir. Oh yeah, thanks for the food and water. Alright, so, he's gone. My Saurus has ditched me. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That looked like a plane, like a fighter jet. It kind of looked like a fighter jet too, I agree. Why it's flying over the desert, I'm not quite sure. But alright, we're going home. Well, maybe it's something from the space boat or something. Who knows? <laughs> the aluminum mallard. Um, um, look a little too uh, aerodynamic for the illegal Alright, so we're down there. Let's go to the Bobby Curry. And we'll tell him about the beast. You tell Harik about the cage beast. I'm happy to hear the dispel patient did its job after what you went through to get the, gather the ingredients. Which I already had when I walked in the door. Thanks, buddy. Let's go talk to Aziza. Maybe she knows something about this shit. Knock on the door. Welcome, Turner. Thank you for the kindness you have shown Trulinar. You are a true hero for helping her. Come, down, come in, sit down, and be welcome. Thanks. Let's uh, Yeah, sure, sounds good. 
Now that we have shared tea, what do we all come to come for? Um, beast. You tell us about Al Skurva. Your words are distressing. Adivis is a most dangerous wizard. Ooh, she knows about Adivis. Adivis cares only for power. It would not surprise me if he greatly surprised me if he was behind the darkness in Razir. Well, we know Razir was kind of dark, and we know that he might be behind it. Thanks, lady. See you later. Let's go back to the inn, and we will continue this on our next episode.